Bob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, a beautiful one out there today, but it looks like it's going to get a little stormy going into tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Severe weather risk for Acadiana. We'll tell you how it's going to play out. So let's take a look at the big picture. Our storm system is out in the desert southwest by Arizona and Utah, and it is producing snow at elevation. And uh, this one is going to be a weather maker in the less than 24 hours, especially across Texas and Oklahoma, where showers already busting out. But locally here, we're just seeing some high clouds beginning to move in from the west dulling the sunshine this evening and they're only going to thicken up overnight tonight. And that's going to make it certainly milder than the last couple of nights closer to 64 low tonight and we see those clouds increasing. Now this is the graph model which is a little bit more aggressive on the thunderstorm activity for tomorrow. We'll show you that in just a bit. So temperatures upper 50s to lower 60s tomorrow morning and then tomorrow mostly cloudy skies could see a renegade shower or two, but I think we see a better chance of storms going into later tomorrow evening. Probably Probably just after sunset or around sunset. We'll have to keep an eye on these storms. Potential for severe weather here. Greater potential severe weather northern part of the state, eastern Texas, and we think we're going to see some sort of squall line. Uh, but again, strongest storms in the central and northern part of the state, but the graph model also has strong to potentially severe storms pushing through all of Acadiana. So we'll see how the models play out uh, as we head into the evening hours. And this is at 1 a.m. tomorrow, tomorrow night, 2 a.m. Saturday morning and then 4 a.m. So it looks like our highest chances for showers and storms and those that are going to be potentially severe one around 8 o'clock, give or take an hour or two, and then somewhere between midnight and about 4 a.m. After that, we do expect clearing skies and by Saturday afternoon, mostly sunny conditions and temperatures back into the low to mid 80s and Sundays looking even nicer and a little bit cooler. Now, the severe weather threat for tomorrow, most of Acadiana hatched in for a slight risk of uh, severe storms that may contain damaging winds hail and maybe a few isolated tornadoes. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a tornado watch, especially across northern portions of Acadiana into Senla and the northern part of the state going into tomorrow evening. That severe weather threat shifting eastward from NOLA first thing in the morning Saturday on eastward. Now, taking a look at the atmospheric profile, I always find this interesting. I like to show this. Uh, we'll stop it at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. We look for the winds to turn or go clockwise. We call that veering with height and notice the numbers increasing with height. This is 5,000 feet. This is 18,000 feet and this is up at 30,000 feet and this is at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Then we advance it to midnight. All these numbers amp up and we still have that veering and wind shear with height. So that's going to promote storm rotation. So the possibility of damaging winds and isolated tornadoes certainly on the board, especially in northern portions of Acadiana. We'll show you the tornado parameter index coming up at 6. Rainfall wise could see an inch or two of rain. I think no flooding issues per se, and the graph model is more aggressive, and you can see the greatest risk of flooding should be across the northern part of the state up toward the I-20 corridor, and tomorrow also a breezy day. The winds will be picking up tomorrow afternoon. These are wind gusts. As we go into tomorrow night, those gusts increasing 30 to 40 miles an hour, so you know we're going to be feeding some strong to severe storms, especially off to the north of us, so it's going to be a little bit of a rough Friday night, but by Saturday morning, things settle down nicely. So the forecast overnight tonight, clouds on the increase. Temperatures tomorrow a little bit warmer, but clouds increasing. Rain chances by late in the day into the evening up to 90% for tomorrow night with that uh, potential severe weather threat. Showers, if any, are left over. will end first thing Saturday morning. Sunshine Saturday afternoon. Sunday looking great. Monday, Tuesday looks good as well. And then we could see another little bit of a weather event come the middle part of next week. But right now we're concerned with what's going to happen for tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Guys. Alrighty, thank you.